And now taking a look at some news out of Henry County, Virginia, four county deputies have been suspended without pay. And that's after a use of force incident at the Henry County Adult Detention Center. An inmate of the facility was sent to a hospital where he was treated and released. Henry County Sheriff Wayne Davis made the announcement at a quickly called news conference that was held on Friday night, July the 7th. He said that he's asked the Virginia State Police to investigate the case. Now, Davis said the incident happened on Saturday, July the 1st. He said a subject was arrested for being drunk in public and then taken to the Henry County Adult Detention Center. Sheriff Davis said upon entering the detention center, the individual was intoxicated and uncooperative. He went on to say the subject, who he did not identify, refused to change into his issued jail uniform, and that situation ultimately es escalated and resulted in Henry County deputies using force on the individual. Davis said the person was injured during the incident. He was then transported to Sova Health in Martinsville, where he was treated and released. Davis said after reviewing the incident, he immediately contacted the Virginia State Police and asked them to conduct an independent review of the incident. He said that they have turned over everything to the state police and they have begun their investigation into the incident. Now, the sheriff's office is also conducting an internal affairs investigation. Henry County Commonwealth's attorney, Andrew Nestor, was present at the news conference, although he did not speak to the news media. During the news conference, Sheriff Davis did say that a policy of hiring personnel at age 19 would change immediately. As reported by the Martinsville Bulletin, when the new 400-bed jail opened in March of 2022, the sheriff's office had to hire nearly 100 new deputies to staff it at a time when it was difficult to find people with proper qualifications willing to do the job. He said the minimum hiring age was then reduced to 19 years of age. He said that effective on Friday, July the 7th, the minimum hiring age would go back to 21 years old. Now, Davis said all deputies under 21 would be reassessed and that other issues at the jail were also being addressed, including the chain of command that resulted in him not learning about the incident until Thursday, five days after it occurred. Davis was sworn in as sheriff on June the 26th and officially took office on July the 1st after his predecessor, Lane Perry, retired. Davis is running for a full four-year term as sheriff. That's this coming November. He's running against Del Mills and Daryl Hatcher.